Hello, this is Lady Boulay, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. And yes, we are commanded to love one another, whether we want to or not, or whether we agree with each other or not. And I'm saying that it must be a cold day in hell because black Americans and white Americans are agreeing on something. Black Americans and white Americans agree on immigration, maybe for different reasons, but black Americans and white Americans have finally found something they agree on. I just did the video about the God's army going down to the Mexican border to stop the illegals from entering the country. And a few weeks ago in Chicago, when we saw black people standing up to their mayor and to their city council for allocating all of that money to those illegals when they need that money themselves, we saw the illegal immigrant call her lazy. No money for you. You're lazy. And there he was, I mean, just boldly saying that. So I think that black people and white people both have had enough of illegal immigration. But look what Joe Biden said. And this comes from The Telegraph, which is an online newspaper that's published out of London. Joe Biden said, I'd shut the Mexican border right now if Congress let me. If Congress would let him, now that's really saying something. He's the President of the United States, but he needs Congress to let him close the Mexican border. That's really rich. Joe Biden has said he would close the U.S.-Mexico border right now if Congress handed him the power by passing a sweeping immigration bill. Mr. Biden's plans unveiled on Friday would give the Department of Homeland Security the power to close the border if illegal crossings surpassed 4,000 in a day and order it to do so if the figure exceeded 5,000. So it's going to let <laughs> up to 5,000 get in illegally. Wow. Only legal ports of entry staffed by U.S. Customs and Border Protection would remain open. A bipartisan bill would be good for America and help fix our broken immigration system and allow speedy access for those who deserve to be here. And Congress needs to get it done, Mr. Biden said. It'll also give me, as president, the emergency authority to shut down the border until it could get back under control, until it could get back under control. If that bill were the law today, I'd shut down the border right now and fix it quickly. The surge of illegal migrants crossing the southern border has emerged as one of the key issues in the presidential election. Migrant crossings often exceed 10,000 per day. Official figures released by border officials showed that a record 302,034 migrants tried to cross the border last month. They must not be showing any pictures on the television back in their homelands of what it's like for them even if they get across the border. It's cold in those sanctuary cities right now in Chicago and and New York and Denver and some of the other cities. It's cold. And those people are getting kicked out of those shelters. I mean, at what point does common sense prevail? Mr. Biden is dependent on Congress passing a bipartisan bill that would not only tighten immigration rules, but also unlock more aid for Ukraine as part of a combined $110 million spending package. So, always got to get some money in for Ukraine. 
But while Senate Republicans appear ready to do business, Donald Trump has refused to support any compromise. As the leader of our party, there is zero chance I will support this horrible open borders betrayal of America. It's not going to happen and I'll fight it all the way, Mr. Trump said in Nevada on Saturday. I noticed a lot of the senators, a lot of the senators are trying to say respectfully they're blaming it on me. I said, that's okay. Please blame it on me. Please, because they were getting ready to pass a very bad bill. That sounds just like Donald Trump. And I'll tell you what, a bad bill, I'd rather have no bill than a bad bill. Mr. Trump's stance has put him at odds with Republican senators who, led by leader Mitch McConnell, have shown willingness to negotiate with Mr. Biden. But Mr. Trump has the backing of the Republican majority in the House of Representatives, where the Speaker, Mike Johnson, described the bill as dead on arrival, despite the full details of the legislation not yet being revealed. Well, you know, they're going to go along with whatever Donald Trump says. The border crisis has also put the Biden administration at odds with Greg Abbott, Texas Republican governor who has unilaterally taken a raft of measures, including installing floating barriers on the Rio Grande to secure the border. Yeah, I would say they are at odds and the Texas governor is showing more strength. Last week, the Supreme Court backed the federal government's right to cut down 30 miles of barbed wire erected on the border by Texas under an initiative dubbed Operation Lone Star. Mr. Abbott has been supported by 25 Republican governors who praised him for stepping up to protect American citizens from historic levels of illegal immigrants, deadly drugs with fentanyl, and terrorists entering our country. So they have really stepped up the language. Y'all can let me know in the comment section what you think this, all of this immigration, letting all these people into this country is all about. There's one rule of thumb that says they just want to bring more almost white people into the country to boost their numbers. A lot of these people are going to have to have two or more, going to have a few more washings <laughs> before they turn white. Then there's another rule of thumb that says America always has a bottom caste. Now we know that America always has a bottom caste. These people are coming here illegally. They are breaking the law. What are the chances that most of these people are going to become American citizens and not be an American citizen and not being American citizens is going to call is going to be a drawback to them that they don't see right now. There are some things that we take for granted because we are American citizens. Now, people say, well, they're getting driver's license so they can drive to work or they are being able to vote. I don't think they're being able to vote in all the states and I don't know where they're being able to vote. But <laughs> I know down here in the South, they're not going to vote because you have to show ID. Well, I don't believe they're voting in the South and a lot of these Southern and Midwestern states, I don't believe they're voting. They might be voting in California or New York. I bet they're not voting in Texas. And if they are, let me know. Let me know. But, and there are other, I mean, I really want to know what the point is of letting all of these people in here illegally because they are already living on the streets. If they had money, they would be paying to live somewhere, but the government is paying for these people to stay in hotels. Now, I don't know how long that's going to last. It can't last forever. But there is an objective in letting all these people in this country. We just don't know exactly what it is yet, but they have an objective. But anyway, y'all let me know what you think it is in the comment section. Thank you for listening. Subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, share the video, and as always, have a great day.